So this actually concludes our public hearing, the oral portion of the process. Uh, I apologize for those who were not able to give their testimony. Wait just a minute, please, just a minute. Just, just, I, I don't... I'm Leela Hubbard of Nakoi Kaika, and I didn't get to speak tonight at a very important DCCA hearing. Apparently, there's a response out on DCCA's website. Um, Time Warner answered DCCA, and this was on September 9th. So most of us are, were unaware. Henry Curtis, of course, saw it. Uh, but we really didn't have a chance to read this or discuss it or to re really take in. Um, for the past 20 years, Time Warner has enjoyed a Waikiki lease. That's what we call giving away an asset for pennies on the dollar. Now apparently, that same condition is going to occur because there's a cap at 3% and that is ridiculous. On a public resource or any kind of investment, you should be getting between 5% and even as high as 10%. So you can see that public is really being shafted by the DCCA. Um, I suggest 20 years is too long for a master lease or a franchise. There need to be periodic reviews um, every five years. And this is not going to occur if we uh, let DCCA have their usual way. It is possible because they have a fiduciary responsibility to the public to sue them. Since this is a public resource, uh, that there should be public voices when negotiations occur for such uh, a really valuable resource. And on an investment right now, with the economy down, we should be getting 5.5% at the least. But in good times, we could be getting as much as 8%. But DCCA has put a cap. So all we're going to get for the next 20 years is 3%. And that is ridiculous. And that's a suable basis. Because there's a fiscal and fiduciary responsibility that this department has to you, the public. You know, taxpayers are tired of paying out and out. This is a time for us to collect, and it's a time to help our children, and to help the various ethnic groups, and to really build community voices. Because if you try to get an issue on commercial uh, media, it's a crapshoot. If you're lucky, you get on. But with a little, you definitely get your voice out. Comprehensively free information is the very fabric by which a society measures itself. Its threads of wisdom are woven communally through generations of stories knowing trends of thoughtful patterns of the past, flowing within a tradition of complete and utter trust towards a commonly shared garment which clothes the many. However, that which clothes and indeed shelters all seems to struggle to clothe properly just one. They are hardly immeasurable scant marginalized scraps if any, when donned by an emperor. Not nearly the robes of empowerment that reflect the sad circumstance of the few attempting to anoint the few. Not remembering that the only way to clothe the many, as well as they themselves, is for we to move as one and better diversity by the generations of stories we sow into them. All is one and one for all, not all for none. Our circumstance by reality's measure is steadied for all to see. Let us unbind our feet upon the path of wisdom and fill the spirit of our footsteps as is truly open to us, as they may evolve to be. We must not take to the divisive distractions of the pathos of authoritarianism. It tends well to opportunistic investiture of the noblesse oblige of an uninformed citizenry. Let us walk as we intend, not as they portend. Utilize this we must. One of the many circumstances is the fact of our informational infrastructure. It is built over our lands. Most egregiously, it seems to take only the nearest of excuses to initiate the inertia of elitism to perversely permit not just a commandeering of the right to squat on an area of what are the public commons, but a commandeering of it as a lion's share goes, 
essentially as an exclusive right to themselves. A corporate power, this corporate power in particular, uses the communication structure on public lands for a corporate profit. The least they must do is what is good for our community while they're on these lands. Now, noting fully the audacity of neoliberalism, the smallest and most minuscule first of steps should be based on the facts, which must be then physically represented and expressed proportionally in a greatly expanded olelo ho'ike, a kaku, naleo o hawaii, and other examples and modes of expression on and off the cable works in terms of funding, infrastructure, and directly democratic nested councils. Now, this oceanic infrastructure was landed here on us because this group or that thought they could make a profit. And it would seem they did. Perhaps so much so they would have paid off that investment in placing the infrastructure many times over. An empowered public could have built that infrastructure and by now, given the safeguards, would have to pay a minimal fee for its maintenance. Perhaps as in other places, it would, without all these complications, just be. Since the group is a corporation which is addicted to profits in three month cycles, it would seem they would think there is more to be had here at the expense of the people. It is too bad we did not have Olelo, Akaku, Hoike, Naleo, Hawaii, or some other such information gathering resource. It may have added and aided the cause when they came up with this brilliant idea. Thanks. Anjali? Oren Sitsumi. Is there any way to reach you if somebody wants to know more of your manao? Your email or? Uh, yeah, uh, TSU, TSU, M-I-E, 001, at hawaii.rr.com. Oh, mahalo. Thank you very mahalo much. Mahalo for being the people's voice. <laughs> no, no. Oahu and the I, um, Hawaii dumped on us that it's time, you know, that we actually take a stand because it's something that's going to negatively impact for 20 years. Ah, ole, if they think that they're going to get away with it without having some kind of reaction from the people of Waianae. We don't take bad news lightly in Waianae, you know, and we, we're empowering ourselves through communication and we'll take whatever means necessary, peaceful means, legal means, but we will attack them probably in the voting booth with the upcoming elections. Beware politicians, things will be changing and Waianae will definitely impact the votes. Olala was here this evening with so many of our community producers and volunteers who helped make really community access possible for the, the local community here on Oahu. So we're here together with them in support for PEG access. Oceanics franchise is up for renewal. The DCCA is going to be looking at providing a contract for another 20 years. And I think mostly what we heard tonight was that the community's voice wants to be heard and that many people still didn't get a chance to express themselves. And we're hopeful that the DCCA is really going to take the time to listen to what the community has to say and support community access. That's not good enough. There's a difference between one-on-one, -on -one, and I would have liked to have seen more representatives so, yeah. from, the, from the department. Two. Well, what, who were those people there? All, all I can tell you, sir, is if you insulting. submit your testimony, we will read the testimony and consider the comments. Will talk? So you know, know it's just an opportunity to give us another meeting. I can't guarantee. Can read out of the no, we don't need a guarantee. I can tell you that we will, if you'll submit your no, written that, testimony, right? we will read the testimony. Have fun, have fun. Let me ask you this question. The yes. written testimony, what limit do you have of when can you read it? At the end of, of uh, the 18th, at 4 o'clock, if you have 10 other thousands letters coming to you, you say, oh, I'm sorry, 4.30 is over, that's the limit, we don't read any more testimonies? We're asking that you submit your testimony by you read them. Right, so what if you don't have, who's going to read them all? You? You? We will all read it. Who's we? Who is we? The department has the cable division, I will read it. Ms. Long, two, two, okay, it's two, Chuck, three, the three, director will look at four, it as well. Four, so you have 10,000 letters, you guys will be able to read, four of you guys will be able to read 10,000 letters I'm by sure, Friday. I'm not sure if you're going to get Wait, 10, no, hold, no, are you doubting us? All I can How tell can you tell us you doubt we'll get 10,000? All I can tell you How can you say you, you doubt that? If you submit the testimony, we will consider You probably won't read them all, and you probably put a deadline, like that's, you put a deadline tonight. That is your opinion. That's exactly, no, that's right. right. And it's our voice that needs right. to be heard. Right.